right? Now I've got the spoon, so it says stir in your filling mix. I think I should get a bigger bowl. I'm going to get a bigger bowl. Otherwise I'm going to make a mess. Okay. All right. I'll set that aside. Okay. It says stir in filling mix. All right. We're stirring in the filling mix. Stirring, 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 stirring. Fill the filling mix. Okay. So that's all stirred. All right. What else? And then stir in the peanut butter. Okay. Oops. It's more filling mix. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, we have the filling mix. Now, this little container here says it's peanut butter. Okay, so it says then to add the peanut butter. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, and then stir in the peanut butter. Okay. So apparently in the Reese's peanut butter cup, the peanut butter is just not peanut butter. It's got all the stuff in it. So since this was made for Reese's, and we're nearly there, let me get this butter back in the refrigerator. I don't want it out very long. All right, now we mix that up really well. Okay, next. Okay, we're going to pour this on top of the chocolate. Okay. Ta-da! Empty. Now, you're going to spread this evenly over your chocolate. <laughs> I wish it was already done. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> I haven't had a Reese's peanut butter cup in so long. Let me tell you why. I bought a bag of them one time. I was going to bring them into church to share them. After I ate one, I had the TV on. I ate the entire bag myself. I couldn't stop. I just couldn't stop. It was just so good. And that was the last time I ate a Reese's peanut butter cup. And I think it was like a three pound bag or something I had got at Walmart. And I just couldn't stop. I couldn't help myself. It was so good. I mean, who doesn't, who doesn't like Reese's peanut butter cups? Am I right? Who doesn't like them? Just so good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh gosh, they're so good. Mm -mm. Now, let's take this out of 
patch out of the hot water. And I'm not putting my fingers in hot water, so I just let it cool that way. And I'm not wasting hot water. There. I'm not wasting hot water. All right, now, this is your topping pouch. Ooh. All right, you want to mix your topping. It says squeeze the topping pouch. So this is squeezing the topping pouch. All right. Now, take your fingers like this. Bring your chocolate down like this. All right. Now, cut the top off your pouch. All right, I've cut the top off. Oh, let me get another spoon. I figure it says you only need one spoon to do it, but I'm using several because I'm, well, I'm just not going to get the peanut butter and the chocolate mixed up and everything. It just seems more sanitary and cleaner to me, so it's just how it is. So now you're going to take your chocolate topping and you're going to spread it over the top. Squeeze all your topping, chocolate for your topping out. I'm, I don't want to waste a drop of the chocolate. Not a drop, not a drop, not a drop. Must be wasted. All right, then take your clean spoon and spread your chocolate topping. Mm. Spread it across. Spread it across. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I oh, know. I think that's pretty. You can spread it all the way across the top if you want, but I just kind of think that looks pretty. And then refrigerate it for 30 minutes. But you must eat it within two days. Refrigerate it uncovered for 30 minutes, and then we're going to taste test it, so I'm going to be back with you. Mm. You didn't see me do that. You can't prove anything. <laughs> All right, let me put this in the fridge. I'll see you in 30 minutes. What do you think? Oops. 